lot of times we get to focus on us, which is exactly what Jesus does not want us to do. Right. And his grace is made perfect in our weakness. So the weaker we are, the less qualified we think we are, mm -hmm. the more God can get the glory. Mm -hmm. And I mean, hearing your story and reading your books and everything, I mean, you thought you were the least likely. And I think the enemy tries to work on the inner me to tell us, you know, you're no good, you're no good, you're no good. David, you're no good. Mm -hmm. And the devil comes up again and you're focusing on what you're not instead of what he is yeah. and it limits you. So I would suggest to everybody right now to stop focusing on you. And I think the best way to get freedom in your life is to totally start helping other people. I mean, that's what you guys are doing. That's right. Feeding people around the world. Yeah. I was talking to somebody. And our viewers enjoy doing it. They oh, find yeah. great joy in life in becoming life to people who feel like they have none. And you know what it does? I was just watching you a minute ago on television, and I said, you know, how old are these people? 39, 95 and some change. You know, I don't want to ask, should I Google it or should I ask the staff member? And they told me your age. And I was like, unbelievable. You guys have so much fire and energy and passion. And, passion. Yeah. and I think that sometimes you'll see teenagers that look like they're 80 because they have no passion, because right. they're focusing on what they're not instead of saying, hey, there's a greater cause. God's going to do something great. Yeah. And so we look at you guys and say, man, that's what we want to do. And I know you guys are doing that as well. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Let's follow the role models right. that you guys are saying, which is it's all about Jesus and not about us.